guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. We are here at the M1 Concourse for that Woodward Dream Cruise, and this is the culmination of the past few days. This is that vehicle that you've been waiting for. This is it. This is that upcoming Dodge Charger. When we say Charger, what are we talking about? We are talking about a Dodge Charger like none other before, but when it comes to what this Dodge Charger Daytona SRT Banshee is all about is electrification. But before we get into this electrified, pumped up muscle car, let's talk about what's going on here. 1966, very important year for Dodge. That was the birth of the Charger. Now, of course, in muscle car era version 2.0, we have those iconic names, Charger and Challenger, but things are changing and Dodge understands they need to change with those times, with the rules, and they are ready to attack the rule book, actually throw it out and go about it the good old muscle car way. So what they did was they took some pages from their past history, specifically with this car, 1968 Charger. A lot of people were curious why the Charger doesn't have two doors and inst instead produced with four doors. Two doors are back and guess what? They're bringing pure electrification, many different power levels, but all going towards that direction of muscle car goodness. What I wanna find out is, has Dodge struck gold? with this Charger, especially being a Charger Daytona, and then on top of that, that SRT Banshee name. Let's go ahead, we got that whole grays of thunder color. We're gonna find out with this 2024 model. Let's check it out. Right off the bat, I think they hit the nail on the head design-wise, because when I see it, I immediately say, hey, this is a Dodge muscle car. You'll notice at the front, Yes, you have a lot of other brands looking like jelly beans, looking like marshmallows. That's not what they're doing here. They had to obviously increase aerodynamic efficiency, but they still had to keep those character lines. So up front, I love what they did with the lighting. I think this is a trend you're gonna see with many electrified vehicles is taking that lighting to another level. We actually have basically a quad headlight design. Even though there's two headlight areas, you actually have that quad LED headlight design, the daytime running lamps, and then as we work our way down, functionality. Just like on your Challenger, just like in your Charger that you currently have, you're gonna have functionality to the venting, that massive front splitter, large enough to where you could actually eat your dinner off of it. So you're not giving up that aggressive muscle car look, but guess what? You're getting that electrified goodness. Now, as we kind of slide across the center, you're gonna notice something Maybe new to you, but it's definitely not something new to Dodge. You had that Frat Zog emblem. I love the way it's illuminated. It almost looks like it's 3D and it's just floating there in the center. And then of course we have the R-Wing. If you go back to the early days, like that 1970 time period of Daytona and NASCAR, obviously that Daytona Charger, all about aerodynamic efficiency to give them that winning edge. That's where they took this design, and that's why it's a Charger Daytona. So I love the way they have this patented R-Wing that actually starts with the front, but as we kind of rise up onto the hood area, you'll notice how the air is gonna pass through, and then on top of that, you do get your bulge. So if every guy, every girl wants that bulge with their muscle car, you're getting it still, even though that this is a pure BEV system. But definitely from the front, up onto the top and underneath has that clear character design. Now, as we come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? On this particular one that's sitting here, we got 21 inch wheels. And I like what they've done. They've kind of taken some of what they have now, but also brought that other spin. So we have some nice machined aluminum all the way around. Like I said, 21 inch wheel, dark metallic gray center. I kind of like the way they worked the inner design sort of almost like a piston in a way, or that electric motor set. We got massive six piston calipers with the SRT badge. What does SRT stand for? Street and racing technology. We got that center locking wheel nut area, and you'll notice the massive two piece rotors. So we're talking about not only straight line performance, but also braking and handling performance, because that's something that's gonna be a little interesting with this vehicle. 
When you go battery electric vehicle, it lowers your center of gravity. That's actually gonna help with handling. It's gonna be interesting to see what they do motor-wise. Obviously, they're talking about two electric motors, nine different levels of power ranges. Plus, I'm gonna think that there's gonna be some recharge and regen braking there that's gonna help with the overall power but it could be power levels greater than any Challenger or Charger Hellcat that you've ever dreamed of. And you got that all wheel drive grip, no slip, but they're also talking about modes where you could have your donut mode, you could have your drag strip mode and still have that muscle car, muscle car smoke them if you got them, fun. But definitely wheels with the tires looking great with those Pirelli P0s. Coming down the side, we got that Banshee badge. This is another area where badging, I think Dodge does it, they hit the nail perfectly on the head. You got your Rumble Bee, you got your Hellcat badges. It really just brings out that essence and being part of the brotherhood, being part of that club. Now from the side, remember I'm six feet tall, you could see the dimensions of the vehicle and this being, yes, you cried for a two-door charger, here is your two-door charger. Now on this particular one, we do have carbon fiber mirrors looking good and I'm hoping that some of these are going to cross over. Some of these touches are definitely going to cross over onto the actual production vehicle. It's interesting how they were able to keep the silhouette of a muscle car but still have, like I said, that nice lower drag coefficient to try to get as much range as we can but obviously they're not going to do full sacrifice like some of those other brands. Working our way towards the rear, you got those flush mounted door handles out back, what's crazy is when we look at the rear end of this vehicle, you're looking at 325 on the width of these tires, real nice and meaty. And then of course, as the roof line slopes into this rear section, it's actually almost like a sport back. So kind of think Audi sport back in a way. What that's going to do, it not only gives you that sexy shape, but it's also going to give you versatility that's going to make your crossover SUV friends a little jealous. Now coming around the back, just like we started up front, super slick. You got your LED lighting, the frat Zog badge. Look at the way that they did the venting on both sides. And then super clean across the whole lower section and especially that rear diffuser area. Now what's interesting is that this is the first electrified vehicle with actual sound, exhaust sounds. And basically the way you wanna look at it is sort of like a pipe organ. They call it frat Zonic sound. I'm gonna, obviously we got some footage of that sound that we're gonna bring into this review, but before we get to that, let's go ahead, let's get inside and see what the future holds for Dodge and your next muscle car. We are in this new Dodge Charger Daytona SRT Banshee. I definitely want to thank everybody at Dodge for allowing us to sit inside of this. It was something that not everybody got to do, but you know what? We try to bring you the best here on Rady's Rides and the most detailed reviews. But I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I understand that we're going towards electrification. I thought I was going to have to get some jelly bean Tesla or something that was going to be born to drive. I really am digging the muscle car look and definitely the idea of having nine different power levels 
the all wheel drive, the different options for doing rear wheel burnouts, having that drag strip mode and everything in between. How much is this gonna cost? Now, obviously we are not at that point yet. So we are gonna have to wait as the progression goes with this design and see what that end all pricing is gonna be. Now, if I was to guesstimate, I would say the top trim, which is what we're in, the Banshee, would probably MSRP for around $100,000. But we'll have to wait and see, like I said, no word on any pricing or power levels, but we do know you'll be able to use that 800 volt charging capacity, the battery pack in the belly of this beast, and those two electric motors for all wheel drive, but let's get to it, to the door panels. This is where they let the Dodge designers just go crazy. I love the style to the top portion of the door panel. You got that beautiful contrast stitching, and then this almost 3D design in the middle of the door panel. And like I said about the exterior, I think something that's gonna help create a unique Dodge experience is gonna be the lighting. So we have that ambient lighting on the interior, starts on the door panel, but you'll see it goes to other places as well. Nice tasteful speaker grill cover. Obviously that's gonna be an important component to it. And then probably one of the largest door pockets I've ever seen. And if you are hungry and you're looking for that muscle car snack, you could easily get the length of that. Probably, I would say almost two and a half foot long subs, make a meatball with extra parm in that door pocket. Now going from the door panel to the dash, more of that beautiful stitching. I love, absolutely love the Daytona name. The script is perfect, the font is perfect. There's more of that LED lighting, the stitch work, and then guess what? They have redesigned and updated the infotainment. I know that was something that many people have been wishing and wanting for. Here it is, nice large infotainment, obviously touchscreen, obviously gonna be able to have, I'm sure, the performance pages and all the other goodies that we are used to in our current muscle cars from Dodge. You got your AC vents, dual climate control, even the way that they did the hazard button there. Well thought out and then tons of storage space underneath there. This is where you're gonna be able to keep your time slips. You're gonna be able to keep the pink slips and everything else that you need. We got the return of the pistol grip shifter. Nice shape well set up and that's another key component is going to be obviously a transmission that has some gearing to it remember porsche has a two-speed transmission this they're calling the erupt erupt you get it like eruption or to change up with that transmission setup you'll notice in the center here you're going to be able to have your different modes shut off the traction control launch control all those goodies nice material with the stitching and then to top it off look at these seats one piece back absolutely love more of that stitching a little bit of gloss black and then you got the frat zog badging all the way down great stitching and then you'll notice on the sides the ambient lighting and the design that looks like a heat sink very very cool attention to detail full carbon fiber tub that's another thing is that you're actually sitting in a vehicle, carbon fiber. Think about the weight savings. And then you're gonna have this massive glass roof and then check out the rear seats. Love the way that they did the two plus two setup with the rear bucket seats. You got your ambient lighting and just beautiful carbon fiber everywhere and all the touches on the center console. But why don't you go ahead, get your butt over here. I wanna show you behind the business end on this wheel from the charger. All right guys, business time behind the wheel of this first ever full Bev from Dodge with that charger name, two doors. Check it out, that beautiful carbon fiber tub that I'm sitting in. Love the Daytona name, illuminates LED lighting. And then of course the pedal box, nice tasteful aluminum throttle, brake and dead pedal. You got those special Mopar styled frat zog floor mats with the stitching. We got our seat controls on the side. I'm six feet tall now. Obviously I've not been able to touch much of the interior, but obviously with the electric assist, I would be able to move it. But even being six feet tall, I still got plenty of room. And then the steering wheel, 
almost D-shaped, similar to a C8 Corvette, but you got the nice flat curve up top with the striping in the center, the blue stitch work. I love the way it's got the LED lighting with the carbon fiber, our SRT badge, power shot. You hit that, that's gonna give you more power off the line. And then of course we got our drive modes and regen braking paddles and a digital gauge cluster. We can't turn it on right now, but expect that to have tons of clear graphics, readouts and features for this vehicle. Plus you got an Alcantara headliner that even goes on the eight pillars. But why don't we go ahead, one of the best parts is yet to come, not only obviously that Fratzonic sound, which is patented, just like the R-Wing up front, but now we're gonna get in the back and see what kind of cargo space we have in this muscle car. All right guys, not only does this car have that design, tying it back to the past, the twin motors, the all-wheel drive, that whole erupt transmission on top of that you're getting versatility that i'm telling you right now will make your grandmother's suv very jealous with that sport back style rear hatch open look at the amount of space and what we did was we were able to talk with the designers the engineers and the dodge team we folded one seat down kept one seat up to show you where we're at from this angle what it looks like and what kind of space do you have with the seats up and then what kind of space are you going to get with those seats down i love the way we could show from this angle how the rear ac vents are how that center console it's like a floating center console as it comes all the way back with the nice soft armrest area raw carbon fiber this is the kind of stuff that you just dream about doing to your own car the whole tub carbon fiber, and then the Fratzonic sound, the thing that produces the sound of this electric muscle car. You have this featured box, clear see-through glass with the carbon fiber and the interesting Fratzog design in the rear of the vehicle. Now I know what you're saying, Joe, we wanna see you go on throttle. We wanna see this electric muscle car in action. I promise you it's gonna be coming but this being a special night here for the Dodge Speed Week, being the culmination of all the excitement going from present to the bridge to the future of the Dodge brand and the muscle car. But until we're able to get behind the wheel and hit that power on button, they're about to throw us out here. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's wrap it up from the M1 Concourse. All right, guys, this has been one of those iconic events that we're gonna be thinking about while we're sitting in our rocking chairs and say, I remember when that day that Dodge rolled out their first full electric muscle car. I definitely wanna thank David, Darren, and the rest of the whole Dodge team for allowing us some private time and access to this vehicle. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on the design? What are your thoughts on the patents that they placed, not only on that R-Wing, but also that acoustic sound? with the exhaust system, let me know in the comment section, is this your dream electric muscle car? I'm dying to know, and so are the people at Dodge gonna read through those comments. But until we meet another day for another iconic event, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button, I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. Of course, we gotta thank the real muscle in this room behind the lens of that camera, LG Rady working it like a champ. Show Lori some love in that comment section. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.